Ooh, okay. We've got a cool loading screen here. We even have the 1911 that we spawn in with. Okay. So this is Darice Declassified. It's a World at War, like Black Ops 4 style of remake, which is kind of cool. There's no like really new areas, I don't believe. There's a random perk machine right there. As you can see on the screen, we have the DG5 we can build. We have some kind of Easter egg things on the far right. We've got the DG Schwarzschutzer. I'm so sorry, I just butchered that completely. DG Scharfschutzer, which I assume that's like sharpshooter or something. Uh, and you know, that's from Black Ops 4, Tag the Toten. And then we have a reel of some kind. So yeah, I mean, it should be pretty interesting. It's a very faithful remaster kind of thing, but with some added bonuses, exactly how it should be done. Kind of like why I love Classified in Black Ops 4, because I think that it did five good justice in the sense that like it put all the best parts of the map in. Although, you know, the Pentagon Thief, I know it was annoying, but he should have kind of been added anyway. And not playing as the crew with like JFK and stuff was a little bit eh but it's whatever. Got the nice shiny M1911 as well, my favorite version. Some people say it doesn't look too realistic, but like, I don't know, there's something so nostalgic about seeing this shiny M1911. Oh, we got a max ammo as well. Let's go huge. And it even reloads your weapon like Black Ops 4. Respect to the map creator. Uh, so what we want to do is we've got double barreled shotgun here. You know, I love the gun, but we could do with getting a point weapon which is going to be the thompson this is the absolute like go-to weapon in world at war it's the best wall buy for sure we've got mule kick over here i think the perks are always in the same area on this map kind of like an actual world at war which is nice and you've got like the added bonuses of the wonder fizz machine and stuff i assume the fly trap easter egg will be on here as well like the faithful one you must turn on the power for whoa we've got some kind of generator thing here oh this is where we put the reel in i assume oh interesting Not sure what that's about kind of scanning around just in case we see any parts because I mean, we have some build balls in this, so go ahead and open up this door. Let's just check here. No, no parts. Okay, let's open this. Got a buildable bench right here. Oh, is that a reel? Oh, yeah, it is. Let's go. Okay. We have to turn on the power first anyway, but okay, we've got double tap right here. Oh, we've got another reel as well. I mean, I guess we can only do one at a time. Power is now on. I probably won't build all of the things. Like, I might just try and get the window off out the box instead, because the Black Ops 4 one, spoiler alert, it's not very good. Got a double points. Let's wait until next round to use this, of course. Oh, it even has the faithful, like, World at War moon as well. I love that. It looks a lot grayer than the giant, which I kind of I kind of like, because it feels a lot more like World at War, obviously. The giant's got a nice blue to it, but it kind of, you know, I feel like that blue aesthetic's been reused too much in zombies maps. I love how we have a double points and literally no zombies are around. Come on, man. What's this? We got some kind of other drop. Oh, a money drop. Give me a bonus points. It's going to be a nice like first playthrough of this map. I have no idea where any of the stuff is going to be. So I guess we'll just go and get Juggernog because it's probably like the best plan of action here. I assume it will be over in this spot. The classic Juggernog like death alley. Oh, hello, zombie. Jesus Christ. Did you have to scare the living bejesus out of me? Boom, Jug. <laughs> That's... That's so classic to World at War, Darius, though. Like, zombies spawning here when you go to buy, like, Jug. Oh, we could afford a spin of the box. So, I mean, sure, dude. Why not? If we get something really good, then, you know, I might... Okay, the PTRS... That gives me PTSD, so I'm I'm good, thank you. I was going to say we can keep the 1911, because it was actually PhD Flopper on this map, I believe. So if we go ahead and get that, we can pack a punch our starting pistol. And let's uh, not go down here. Jesus, they are sprinting on in. What's this drop? Is it going to be a nuke? Oh, it is. I swear we've got every single drop, like, in order, which is really strange. Like, we had the double points. We had a carpenter. We had insta-kill, max ammo, and the money drop. And now we have a nuke. So, oh, 4,500 points. Let's go. There's no actual machine for PhD Flopper. It's just in the Wonder Fizz. So we have to get lucky to get it anyway, so... Come on, if we could... <gasps> a ray gun? Okay, dude. Sure. I'll take it. Oh, I love the ray gun. Sadly, it looks like it's the... Oh, has it got increased splash damage? That is bright as hell. I don't know if it does, but you know, it's the Black Ops 3 ray gun, so it's a little bit eh, but still cool nonetheless. Wait, does it have some writing on it when you reload? It looks like it might. I think it has a little, like, Darice icon, which is kind of cool. Or, like, an Atomic logo. I don't know if it's always had that and I'm just tripping out, but it's cool nonetheless. It's not really a good point weapon, though. I mean, it'd be great if we had PhD now, because it's going to be good for both our guns. Carpenter, cool, cool. Oh, we've got another drop. What's this? Double points. Okay. Going to be useful because the Reagan's not very good for, like, getting points, really, is it? This is only 50 per. All right, that's the round. We've got 6,000 points. I mean, we can go ahead and spin this once, see what we get. If we get PhD, come on, pretty please. Oh my god, no way, we actually got PhD. 
<laughs> that is huge. Let's go. Oh, we've got a dog round as well. Now, from what I've heard, apparently these dogs on this map are like, they have a lot more health, but obviously we have a Regan, so kind of, they're nothing. But yeah, nice and easy to deal with. Bada bing, bada boom. Get out of here. And then, oh, hell yeah. Did they buff the Regan ammo? Or has it always had 180? Maybe I'm just tripping out. Let's go and do some of our teleporters because, you know, we have a Regan. There's no reason not to. Not really holding back for anything. Let's just look around for parts. You know, there could be one scattered around somewhere. Really difficult to see though, but hey, there's a nice lighting on this teleporter. All right, that's one done. Might as well go and do this one next because, you know, we're right here. Uh, what perks down here? Quick revive. Okay, huge. I'll take the risk and not buy it yet. Could be a bad choice, but we'll see. Apparently there are some Black Ops 4 perks on this map as well, like Ethereal Razor. Oh my god, it has the PhD explosion. It's on the slide, which I like. Okay, that's the next one done. Last one is going to be in there. Oh yeah, I completely missed the drop we got last time. What are we going to get now? A nuke? Uh, I mean... Not really what we want. As a bear? Screw it, dude. What? Screw it. Let's just go through the rounds. Why not? Okay, door in here. Bada bing, bada boom. Last teleporter on its way. And then we'll need 5,000 points to be able to afford... Oh, God. It's starting to run faster. I was going to say we're going to need 5,000 points to be able to afford the Pack-A-Punch for the Mustang and Sally. Boom. There we go. Pack a punch unlocked. Guess we'll just hang around here for a second. What's this going to be? Oh, money. Okay, 500 points. I'll take it. It's nice just running around and being able to spray the Reagan and not worry about splash damage on BO3 because, you know, PhD never got added, even though old maps like Moon and Ascension, which had PhD before, didn't have it. Like, I love Widow's Wine, don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's not really the same, is it? Insta-kill double points. Oh my god, we can actually pack a punch this round then. Let's go. Well, here we go. Mustang and Sally. Oh, let's go. It's even got the cool ass World at War camo as well. Like, this is the best iteration of his camo. Like, the really shiny sort of silver look to it. I guess we'll just go ahead and spin the box when we get enough points. And uh, what do we want? Double tap two, I guess. Speed cola. I assume these are statistically the same as the MR6, but you know, just because you have PhD, it feels so much better. Oh, we've got another buildable bench right here. Go ahead, train up all these zombies and just shoot into them a couple times, and boom, the round's gonna be done. All right, here we go. Boom. <laughs> yeah, that is. I forgot how satisfying that was. I'm going to go buy Speed Cola. Normally, I'm like, you know, Speed Cola is kind of, you know, a little bit of a bonus. But for the Ray Gun especially, it's going to be nice. Like, look how fast this reload is. Oh, much better. Oh, we've got dogs. Let's go. And then we've got the fast reload of the pistols. These poor dogs aren't going to stand a chance. Look at this. <laughs> Don't even get to see the light of day before they go. Boom. And that's the round. Let's go. Max ammo. It'd be nice if we had a point gun, honestly, like getting rid of a Tommy gun for the ray gun. Probably a worthwhile investment, but the points, you know, get the points. Just do the little slide around. Let's go. Wee. Getting a bit better at fly jumping on PC because using keyboard and mouse, like compared to controller, it's a little bit difficult to get used to after a while, but certainly feeling very smooth. Oh no, we're going to get stuck in a corner. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my God, that's broken. Let's go back to the ray gun for a second. Go for a spin of the box. Why not, bro? Why not? We can get the Wonder Wop out of it. That would be nice. Uh, the Panzer Shrek. You know, we have PhD, so it wouldn't be bad. But I don't think it's better than the two weapons that we currently have. Especially not Pack-a-Punched. Got a nuke at the end of the round. Let's go. Another spin of the box. Um, What's this? The Volkstum Gewehr. Okay, cool. Oh, we were one off the Wonder Wolf then. That would have been nice. Oh, we got Teddy Bear. That's just tragic. Oh, yeah, because we have PhD, we can actually, like, hold our grenades. But, I mean, we don't have to. We've got these good old explosive pistols. They seem to have a little bit more ammo as well, which I can appreciate. So we can actually use them for longer, which is nice. Boom. Let's go pick up a double tap. I wonder where it is. I am... I think it's probably going to be... Oh, yeah, yeah it's uh, before we drop down to power. Let's put this reel in. What's this going to do? I'm assuming we could put it in, right? I'm interacting, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything well I'm, I'm not sure what that achieved but like i think it's playing anyway let's buy double tap let's see if we can activate a fly trap from here because doing it with this little pistols a little bit difficult yeah like especially with the barrier up oh there we go we actually activated jesus it took like eight shots but we did it bro samantha in this game so much creepier like the voice Scan around for parts. Oh, wait, speaking of which, oh, we've got a DG5 part and we've got another reel right here as well. We've got the box. I mean, let's go for a spin. Maybe we get lucky, get a waff. Uh, nope. PT PTSD again. Well, let's see where that bad boy is. I think the part, well, not the part, but like the um little thing we have to shoot in here. No? Oh, I forget where it is in World of War. Oh, crap. Um, never mind. I've kind of forgotten. Oh, wait, never mind. Isn't there this one like right up here? 
I think, somewhere. We can shoot it with the ray gun, I believe. Is that it? I think I see it. Yeah, there we go. That's one. Is there another one up there, or is that only in the giant? I think that was only in the giant. Oh, God. I don't remember the World of War ones, though, man. Anyone who's a big fan of World of War is probably screaming at their monitor right now, like, it's, it's in this location, you moron. Like, I'm sorry, I genuinely don't know. And I don't like looking up guides, because, you know, I can easily just look up a guide and go figure out how to do it, right? But... We're not going to get a reward for this anyway, so it's not that essential. But I'd rather, like, if I figure it out myself, I figure it out. If I don't, then we just don't do it, you know? I just kind of prefer it that way because, I don't know, it, it feels nice. It's um, a bit refreshing. Uh, isn't there, like, a spot? Is it, like, inside one of these? I remembered! Somehow, it just came to my brain. I was like, hmm, well, if it's not in there, it's in somewhere, like, kind of hidden. Uh, double-barreled shotgun. Well, the only other place it could be, then, is in this half of the map. There should be a spot, right? Oh, wait, we don't get a reward, so doesn't that mean it's gonna be in the blast furnace itself? Yeah, here we go, the monkey. Boom. Now, we don't get any reward, I'm guessing. No, it looks like we get nothing, which is perfectly fine. I'm more than okay with that. But, hey, see, if I looked up a guide, like, the fun from that would have been completely gone. It's nice for a change. We've got dogs. Well, spinning for the box. Come on, please. And um, we've got an Arasaka. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. I know we don't have quick revive, but like just the firepower of having speed cola, double tap, PhD and jug. You just, you can't really beat that. One life wonder, as I like to say. So I guess all that's left to do is, well, other than keep spinning the box, is just to kill some zombies. I'm going to go check if there's not a perk limit. I'm pretty sure there is, but yeah, we can't buy quick revive, which is kind of sad, but... I mean, four perks. There's probably a way you can get more on this map. I wouldn't be surprised. Refreshing to use the Mustang and Sally, though, for a change. Like, the MR6 in Black Ops 3, it just doesn't really hit the same, does it, right? Like, boom, just... <laughs> nothing beats that, bro. These cool-looking pistols, like the old World War II vibe. <laughs> Holy crap, I just, just... I wanted to take a drink, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was close. Uh, we got uh, the flamethrower. Okay, I have to take this. I know it's not very good. I know it's going to do barely any damage right now, but how iconic is the flamethrower, bro? Whether you love it or you hate it, this is the face of World of War zombies, honestly, for me. Like, the best weapon. Like, just, oh, why was this not in Zombies Chronicles? I wish we had stamina up, to be honest, because if we're going to be using this, um... Trying to train without stamina up, it really makes you slow. I don't even know if stamina up's on this map. It could, it could just not be, but let's get a full hold and see how long it takes us to actually kill them all. I mean, it has unlimited ammo, which is the cool thing. So, like, you can always deal damage. It just goes on a cooldown. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, you see how much that slows you? Well, here we go. All the zombies. Boom. And then it's non-cooldown. Okay, and we didn't kill a single zombie. Okay. Like, it's... It's iconic. It's not good. Let's fire into them again. Maybe we tap it. Tapping's probably better, right? Yeah, they're starting to die out. I think this is how you're supposed to use it. Oh, it's on cooldown again. I mean, when you pack a punch it, the cooldown heavily decreases. But, okay. We are not killing many, are we? Yeah, compare this to the Mustang and Sally. It's not really close, but yeah. The Annihilator's bad anyway, bro. Why can't we? Oh, why is one of those is on? Maybe that's because we need four reels. Is that it? Like we put one of them in? Interesting. Oh, hi, dog. Are we getting dogs mid-round now? Interesting. Level points insta-kill, my favorite. The only time where the flamethrower would actually be a little bit useful. But yeah, I just wanted to pick it up so we could experience the nostalgia, of course. 8,000 points. Surely we can get the WAF. No, we got the Walter. Walter White? Walter, put the gun away, Walter. <laughs> oh my god. What's this? Enfield? Oh, this crappy little revolver. I mean, it looks cool. That is one fast reload, Jesus Christ. Gotta get the Wonder Wolf when playing uh, the Reese, man, you know? It's okay, it's just too iconic. And even though this map, you know, the special feature is the Black Ops 4 Wonder Wolf, I'm sorry, yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> just as I was about to shit talk the Wolf, the Black Ops 4 one. The game knew, bro, the game knew. Like, just look at this. It just, it looks stunning. The Black Ops 3 WAF looks aesthetically the best, but it's probably the worst version of the DG2, that is. Not the Schwarzschwitzer. That's just the worst version of the WAF ever. But yeah, just because dead wire exists, like, if you can have an alternate ammo type, why do you ever need to use anything other than that when one shot 
and you have like 400 ammo compared to the Wonder Wolf, which only has like 15 and then 30 when Packet Punched. But in this map, it actually feels pretty strong. So I don't think there's double Packet Punch. There might be. But yeah, let's get them all together. Look at this. The zaps, dude. The zaps. I love it. It's going to help go through the rounds. That's for sure. Oh, we got to drop a fire sail. Oh, just when we don't need it. Typical. Look, stuck in a corner? Doesn't matter, Woff, baby. I suppose we could go for a spin. I mean, there's no other wonder weapons in here, right? Nah, there's the PPSH, but like, I mean, that's gonna be a bit of a long while to get that. Plus, we don't have Mule Kick and Mustang and Sally at the moment is probably better. We've got dogs as well. Let's pack a punch our Wonder Woff. The DG3JZ. I really like the orange and purple on this. Holy shit. I don't know if the original World of War looked like this, but... Fuck, that looks clean. And the red lightning as well when you shoot. Ooh, okay. I can get down with that. I'm around 20 now, baby. Yeah, it's cool that there's like a full faithful remaster with like a little bit of a twist on it. I mean, that's what the giant was, but with Black Ops 3 guns, it doesn't really feel the same, does it? It was good for like leveling up and stuff back when Black Ops 3 just came out, but... Then once the Ryzen Rock came out, it just became the new best map. Let's train them up. It's really dark in this area. That's the only time I die is when, like, I'm going over towards this barrel and I just don't see any of the zombies because they have dark models and here is really quite dark. Yeah, here we go. Let's train them all up. Oh, hi, dog. How's it going? Oh my god, they have the World of War sounds, I think. The amount of noise when you shoot the WAP, though, just was... Like, holy shit. It's cool because there's no gobblegum machine on this map as well, so, like... I don't know what the highest round probably is on here. If you can get double packet punch, I imagine it would be like 100 plus, but who knows? This is obviously a custom map, so crazy we've only seen one of the parts, though. Like, you can build the DG short shot, sir, or you can get it somehow. And you can build the DG5, but I've only found one of those parts, which is interesting. Like, there's not one just like up against this wall here, no? Anything over here, maybe? Oh, I don't see anything. Boom, all of you gone. And then let's shoot one over there. And 360 no scope. <laughs> Boom, bye bye. What's this gonna be? Max ammo, please? Oh, double points? I mean, sure, I guess. That's the round. 22. Oh my god, I thought we were on 20 still. Holy shit. Fire into the moon because it will obviously do something? Yeah, I thought not. <laughs> How sick would that be though? Like a mini Easter egg? You just shoot into the moon or the sun on whatever map you're playing and like a nuke goes off or something. I don't know, it'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I'm excited to see more like faithful remasters come out in Black Ops 3 custom zombies. Because since Zombies Chronicles 2 probably won't ever happen, like at least we're able to get it in custom maps or at least the equivalent, you know? Oh god, I almost got stuck there. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm perfectly fine. Go ahead and do a jump slide. <laughs> okay, that explosion was kind of sick. Oh, we've got a nuke. That should be the round. Hey, there we go. I always prefer training in this spot compared to training out there. Like, I don't know why. It just feels a little bit smoother. All right, let's kill as many dogs as we can with just one shot of the war. Oh god, hello. Okay, one shot. Boom, it gets them all. No, it doesn't? Huh? Okay. Ow, ow, owie, ow, I died to dogs. I was going to end after that round anyway, but holy shit, they are much more aggressive on this map. I am not coping, I swear. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to check out this starting room challenge that I did on Ancient Evil up here. It was a lot of fun, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video.